Hi, today I want to talk to you about the relationship between electricity and magnetism and the really cool fact that we can use something as simple as a magnet to generate electricity and we can use electricity to generate magnetism. And um, there's a lot of cool things that we can do and a lot of interesting devices that are made as a result of the relationship between electricity and magnetism. So around the 1820s was when we first realized that there was this relationship and that really they're just one, almost one and the same thing. And we call it together the electromagnetic force. So if you've studied static electricity before, you are aware that positive charges and negative charges attract and negative and negative will repel. So really the forces between static electricity help us understand that electric force is a result of charged particles, while the magnetic force is the result of the movement of charges. All materials have electrons moving in them. Magnetic materials are special in that the electrons are all moving spinning in the same way. And that's what causes them to be magnetic. To learn more about that, please watch this video about magnetic domains. So if you had electricity flowing in this wire and you were to put some, some sort of cardboard down or a piece of paper and then sprinkle iron filings around that wire, you would be able to see the magnetic field lines take this shape. And that's gonna be pretty special because when we go to generate electricity with a magnet, um, we're going to wanna to take advantage of this idea. All right, so each year I ask my students to try to generate electricity given these supplies. We've got an ammeter, which is gonna measure the current for us and help us to figure out if we did generate electricity or not. And I've got a magnet and I've got some wire. So right now this is connected to the circuit and most students realize that, okay, well, I know electrical current is electrons moving. So they try to get the magnetic field to push the electrons. So often they start like this, but see, nothing's happening on the and meter. That's because you're only getting a few electrons that are here in the wire to move. So the challenge is, is how are you gonna get lots of electrons to move at once? So sometimes they'll start you know, doing something like this where I've got a bunch of wire, but it's too chaotic. Some of them you're moving one way, some of the electrons you're moving the other way. So the key is, is to make a coil with this wire. Okay, so I've got the wire coiled. And the geometry of this coil allows us to move a lot of electrons at once in the same direction. So now when I put the magnet through the coil, we should be able to get a reading on the ammeter. Okay, here we go. You see that? I'm not bumping the table, but I'm actually getting alternating current. I'm pushing the electrons, I'm pulling the electrons. I'm pushing them, I'm pulling them. And as I do that, you can see current being generated on the ammeter, that red dial is moving back and forth. So you'll see again, I have that coil shape. And as I put the magnet through, the coil is important because it allows many electrons to be pushed by the magnetic field at once. And that's really what electricity is, is many electrons moving. So the coil allows us to move a whole bunch at once. So it's going to be an important shape. So the key to generating electricity with a magnet is that that coil is going to push and pull on the electrons that were already in the wire. And it's gonna to allow, to get those, allow 
those electrons to get into motion, which is the basis of electricity. This is the basic idea behind every power plant other than solar. You have to somehow move a magnet in relationship to a coil of wire. A solenoid is a special name for a coil of wire that has electricity flowing through it. If you run current through a solenoid, it produces a magnetic field. See here, it's drawn in red. This fact can be used to temporarily turn some metals into a magnet. And this allows the magnet to be turned on and off. An electromagnet is a solenoid, a coil, remember, with a ferromagnetic core. So that means it's made up of metal like cobalt, nickel, or iron. And it has domains. Okay, so here's an example. I've got a battery and it's attached to a wire that's wrapped around an iron nail. And what that means is when I connect the circuit, this nail is going to become magnetized. And when I disconnect the circuit, the, the nail is no longer magnetic. And it has many, many uses in our society. So the strength of the electromagnet depends on the amount of current passing through the wire the number of loops that are wrapped around the core and the type of material that we use in a core. It has to be ferromagnetic, meaning it has to have domains, but um, the type of core could vary. So I hope you now understand how electricity can be used to generate magnetism and how magnetism can be used to generate electricity. And the example of an electromagnet is an awesome example because it can be used in so many applications. Why don't you put some ideas in the chat below of some uses of electromagnets and be prepared to share them with your classmates. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up or push subscribe to see more videos like this. Bye-bye.